Once upon a time, there was a woodsman called Jack, who lived in a cold, dark forest. He'd heard the rumour from the town that a maiden had been held in a nearby tower for a hundred years under a sleeping spell. Jack decided he was the one to do something about this and started his journey. After clearing the forest, he reached the outskirts of a necropolis, littered with the graves of a hundred poor souls who had endeavoured before him. seemed to shy away from Jack, hiding behind gravestones and bushes which would cover them to make their ambush. to the tower was blocked by evil weeds with poisonous thorns which no axe could split. So Jack drew his blade which had been left to him by his father. The sword contained his father's purity of spirit and easily tore apart the vile growths. Snickety snap, swish and hack, Jack made his way into the gloomy building. Before him stood a vision of beauty, a woman with skin as fair as white marble and with dark tresses that shone like a raven's plumage. Oh, sir, she said, how can I thank you? Once you had found your way into my keep, you broke the spell that kept me imprisoned for so long. It was nothing, he replied. My only reward would be a kiss from those ruby lips. Gladly, kind sir, said the maiden. In fact, for one so brave and noble, I would even extend my hand in marriage. What is your name, my good man? My name is Jack, he said, and I have travelled this land of fables for some time. I would guess by your complexion, you are the one they call Snow White, whose life of good has been repaid by this act of cruelty. She smiled at him, a smile which would chill many a man. But Jack being Jack, just stood there. No, sir, the damsel said, Snow White is my sister. She is kind and good. I am Rose Red. I saw my sister's rescue as a way to attract men of spirit, and have used it many times. Her smile grew broader, revealing a sharp set of white pointed teeth. Some have even called me a man-eater. Jack just stood his ground. Well, Rose, he said calmly, I have invaded lands with beanstalks. I have been called Jack the Giant Killer. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, was a phrase used by children off the back of my many adventures but I too have not always been pure. Jack Horner was my first name, and I did make many a girl cry. Jack Wolf was another name I used. After dealing with three very smart but annoying little pigs, I ran into another woman called Red who thought she could get the best of me. So tell me, who's going to eat who?